Aloha Kanis and Wahinis and welcome. As you can see I'm ready for a trip to the islands. I have on my sunglasses, my tutu nanny Mumu. I have my hula girl, my mug and of course the only thing I need to know now is where is Hawaii and Pearl Harbor? You know when I was doing research for my book I asked several of the people I was interviewing did you even know where Pearl Harbor was prior to the attack on December 7th, 1941? And all but one so far have said no. They had no idea where it was. They had to go to the Encyclopedia Britannica, to maps, to globes, to find out precisely where this attack that killed over 2,400 Americans and injured over 1,780, I think it is, people, where this place was. They had no idea. Of course, if you had already somebody in the service over there, you knew where it was, or if you were sending uh, gifts to the troops, you might know where they were. Or, if you had been, oops, wrong glasses, if you had been in something like shipping. Now, my neighbor lent me this book. It's about Kitsap, Washington, and it says logging in 1910, the schooner Samoa tied up to Chico Bay and took a full load of piling to be used to build the docks at Pearl Harbor. So they would have known at least where Pearl Harbor was going to be. Or if you went to one of the two, and that's the truth, there were only two hotels back then, the Mauna Loa and the Royal Hawaiian. So if you were lucky enough to ride one of the Matson lines and go spend some time in Hawaii, then you knew exactly where this place was. So it's very interesting to know too. You have to remember this. How did they find out about it? Radio. Everyone was glued to the radio. The newspapers, one woman told me, oh, we had no idea. We didn't see images of it for days and days and days because the newspapers were slowly getting some photographs in. The newsreels would come out in the movies later, but radio was where the first announcement came and where they heard the devastating news. They had no technology like today. In fact, there were some TVs, not a lot, and they had just developed color TV, but that was postponed for the war effort, so the color TVs really didn't come out till later. So, be it as it may, I'm all ready to go. Now all I need to do is say aloha. Thank you.